I'm Bet from Bet Snakes, and today we're going to make a spider's web with a spider. Now, I know you can hardly see this, but here is the spider web we're going to make. We might make it in a different color, but this is exactly what we're going to make. I have a little bit of ribbon that I'm using at the top, and generally it's just cardstock. And of course, I've got a spider in the second part here, and that's also cardstock. So we are going to go ahead and start making this. So I'm just going to hide my basic cut here. And I'm going to go to my upload folder and I have a file called SpiderWeb, which I'll make sure that you get. I will add it to the member site so that you can have access to it. I'm going to add this to the canvas. Now, you'll see that it has come in with the lines all down to the center. Well, those are folding lines. But over here in the layers panel, you're going to have to click on the part that says basic cut, not the orange part, but the other one and change that from basic cut and change that one to score. And that's over here in operations. You want to change that to score. That looks really good together. So let's highlight everything on the screen here and I am going to attach it. Now the next thing we're gonna need is a spider that's going to fit in the middle here. So we're gonna go look for a spider. And if I go to my uploads folder, I see that I really don't have anything. So I'm gonna try images and we're gonna go out here and we're gonna look for some spiders here. We got a lot of different items. So I'm gonna go spider and click on search. Now when I did prepare for this, I did have a spider that I was using. I wanted something pretty simple. I wanted something that was kind of a unibody. And this looks like a good one. It says I'm subscribed. This is a Cricut Access spider, but you could use any spider you want. I'm just going to click on this one and I'm going to add it to the canvas. And I'm just going to check for size here. He's not very big, so I'm going to make him nice and big so that he's going to fit right in here. That looks really good. So I'm going to change his color. And I'm going to change him to, and I've got a yellow, maybe a gold color spider. And I know that that's going to be able to be glued into place. So there are just two things we need for this project. All right, we are ready to go. I'm going to save this and I'm going to save it as web spider. And I'm going to add it to my October makes here. And the reason I put it in October because it has to do with Halloween. So I'm just going to click on save. It is saved. We are ready to go here. And then I'm going to click on make it, but I'm going to turn on my machine at the same time. I'm going to make sure this is on the mat. I am not going to use it without the mat or my smart materials because this is something that's pretty easy to put together. Now we have the spider on one mat. And of course, on the next mat, we're going to have our orange or whatever color I decide to use for this particular one. And I think I have a purple today. So we look okay here. So let's click on continue. It's going to hook up with my maker three, but you could have an explore. And if you made the web and the spider smaller, you could actually do this on your joy. The biggest problem is you will not have a scoring tool to put in place. You would have to draw the lines and then fold it. Now I'm going to use a medium cardstock and I find sometimes in medium cardstock, it's hard to bend it. So I'm gonna see what else is popular here. And most of them are smart vinyls, everyday premium medium cardstock. So I'm gonna browse all materials and I'm just gonna look and see what other cardstock I could use. And we have for intricate cuts, and we have heavy card stock. And I think that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to add it to my favorites here just so that I can access it again. And I'm going to click on done. Now, all I want right now for this top one is a fine point blade. So that's easy enough. It all comes with it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this, but I am going to switch cameras here. And let's see if we can do the video to the switch over to our demo table. And I'm going to stop the share. There we go. There's our demo table. As you can see, everything's ready. 
And what I've got right here is I've got a yellow cardstock on my mat here, and I'm just push pricing it down. I'm using my brayer tool here just to hold it down into place. And then I've chosen a purple color for my web. And once again, I put it on. I want to use my brayer tool to make sure I get a nice, accurate cut. I mean, that's the more important part, a nice, accurate cut. Put this one over to the side. I'm just going to bring this closer to me so that I have room in behind. I'm just going to load my mat. I don't have to make any changes as far as the fine cut blade goes because it's already in place. It's going to measure my mat. Okay, I'm just going to unload this mat. That looks really good. I just want to double check and make sure everything came through. Okay. Peel off this piece. Oh, we stuck on there. Gently pull it off. I just want to make sure everything's cut and in place. That looks good. I've got my spider and a little extra paper here. I'll just put that over to the side. Now to release it, I'm just going to bend my mat and I'm going to release my spider. Hey, that looks great. So now I want to put the protective cover back on top of my mat and I'll just smooth it into place and put it out of the way. So next, we're going to choose the paper again, because every time you cut something, it wants to have, no, that's a light pattern, medium. I think we're okay with this, with that heavy card stock. And this time it wants me to add my scoring wheel. Now, if you have an explore, you won't be using a scoring wheel, but you'll see the number one here on your scoring wheel. Well, that's the important part that I'm going to put that into place. Now, if you're using an Explorer, you won't have a scoring wheel, but you will be able to use your scoring stylus. And you'll see it's just got a nice little rounded tip at the end, and it would fit into the pen holder here and it would actually do the same scoring job. Let me just put that out of the way so we don't lose it. Now I've got my scoring wheel in place and we've chosen a nice purple color for what we're going to do here. So I'm just gonna load the mat. like we have everything cut and ready to go. I'm going to release the mat and I'm just going to click finish on my Cricut Design Space. It just takes a second or two. There we go. Finish. And move that out of the way. I'm just going to turn my machine off, shut the lid and just push it out of the way so we can start assembling our project here. Okay, so let me just gently pull this away. I can clean up my mat a little later. And, off. Looks good. and I have all the debris is left behind, which is just fine. I see I've got one piece that came out, but that's okay. Let me just move that off to the side and I will clean that later. And I want to get rid of my extra piece here. There's one of those pieces. So let me just move it off to the side. So we have our spider web and our spider. And this is going to be pretty easy. As you can see, I don't know if you can see this in the camera. There, you should be able to see some of the score lines. Yeah, turn it that way. 
So you can see the score lines. So what, what we need to do with these score lines is we have to fold them back and forth. So in this particular one, you'll see how they fold like this. And that's exactly what we're going to do with our large piece as well. So I want to be able to see my score lines and I am going to fold them back first. And what I do is gently, you want to be able to fold them back and forth with ease, but you do have to pinch them. And I'm not going to make them really solid right at the start, but I am going to get them started. Now, if you use a solid core paper, that'll probably be a lot better. You won't get a lot of the little white pieces that are going to show. So there's one, and I'm gonna do it in half. This one, two, here we go. Another one in half. It just takes a little bit. Make sure you get it as close as possible. Get right across. Once you get the first one started, the rest of it's not that bad. So we've got two going in that direction now. And now for the middle ones. The other ones I'm not folding right now are going to go in the opposite direction. Get this one on the go. Let's try and get it on to the mark. There we go. And one more middle, which is over here. There we go. Fantastic. So we've got the first ones folded and these are coming out. So the next ones we fold are going to go in. So it's going to be different. So we're going to push them in the other way. And it's the same process as you push them all the way through. Just going to make them fold that way. There's one way. I tend to go, let's see, there's one there, one there. So the next one is here. Probably go half and half. That would have been easier. The whole premise behind it is you're going to fold it so it goes all the way across. That's why we use an even number when we're doing something like this. One, two, three, four. This one needs to be folded as well. And this one is going out. takes a little bit. It gets easier with the last ones. And I think we've got one more to go here. And that is going to be this one. There we are. We will give it a better fold in a second, but we just want to make sure we got all of them completed. So let's just check this out. Just going to fold them into place like this. They may come into a problem sometimes. So make sure you fold them into place. There we go. Just put this one down a little bit. Fold them just a little bit more as you fold them in. There we go. Now we do have one last one here. So I'll just open it up a bit and make sure it folds into place as well. So there we go. We have our spider web already and I'm just gonna poke it in the center here. Now it is going to sit up because that's exactly what we wanna do. And then we want to add our spider into the center. Now I'm just going to glue him in the middle. So I'm gonna use this Aileen's Tacky Glue. Just Put a little glue down the center here. Okay, and I'm just going to glue this guy into place. And I'm just going to hold him down for a second or two, but I will put the cap on my glue. And I'm going to lie it down. And the reason I lie it down is that it's easier to get the glue out when it gets towards the bottom. Okay, I'm just gonna hold that for a second. There's one other thing we're going to do here and that's to be able to string it up. So I got this uh, roll of ribbon for 50 cents at Michael's. They had it in a bin with some extra thin. So I'm just gonna cut off a piece here. Let me just push that over to the side now. So I don't need about 12, 
maybe 14 inches maximum is all we're going to need. I'm just going to cut off a piece and put that off to the side. So what I want to do here is I just want to take a part of this and push it through. Now to make this really easy to work, I'm going to even this up and get them flat towards each other and even it up. And all I'm going to do is tie a single knot in the bottom for now, it's just so it holds it into place, not too tight so I ruin it. And then I'm going to put these two pieces together again. Let me get them at the top here. This one's going to be a little longer because of the way we tied it. That looks really good. Now, instead of just tying a knot at the top, I'm going to slide down and then I am going to tie the knot this way so it goes through to itself and then just pull it up. And then I get a nice knot where I can hang this with ease. So here is our spider web with our spider and a place to hang it up. These are great party decorations. So I hope you had a lot of fun with this. And until next time, happy crafting.